This is a video on failure and how you overcome it. So I was actually supposed to do a totally different video, as you can see here, about underdogs and glory hunters. And that video eventually will come out. And I had prepared a presentation. It's super full of visuals about David and Goliath, about superheroes and how the hero arc doesn't let you have a superhero that's too overpowered. So even Superman, who's the most overpowered of all the superheroes, he has his kryptonite. And the other superheroes like Spider-Man or the Daredevil, they have some kind of problem or even Batman. So Spider-Man is an orphan who loses the person he loves most, his Uncle Ben. Batman, he's a billionaire, but he's an orphan as well. The Daredevil... He's blind and he loses his dad. So every superhero has this arc in which at the beginning, they have a very hardship. They have a very hard life full of hardship. And I made a very cool presentation. I made a new template for these presentations for the Rock and Roll to Success, which I intend on once I start actually doing them, I intend on putting out for my subscribers on on Substack, my members. But the thing is, this is why it's about failure. I did all that, but when I started recording, it was too distracting to look at the screen and to present all of those things, all the visuals, everything. It was too distracting for me because I'm used to just speaking off the cuff. Whenever I have to look at a screen and think about stuff and, oh my God, am I referencing this right or wrong like it couldn't even tell Goli David and Goliath's story right because I was thinking too much I was too much in my head and right now I'm speaking totally off the cuff I'll even show you guys like I have this notebook but yeah maybe if you can read it's about the David and Goliath thing the underdog thing and over here this is my super setup and I'm much better at speaking off the cuff like this than I'm at speaking with a structured kind of presentation because I don't even remember how to do this, these presentations. And it was my first time recording a presentation like this. So I was getting distracted, distracted with too many moving parts. And I'm telling you this to encourage you because sometimes you will commit mistakes, you will do things, you will put in the work. And then when the time comes, when the push comes to shove, it won't be the way you want it to be. And it happens. That's why, for instance, you guys probably follow Alex Ramosi. And he had this big presentation. He made a gigantic event to launch his last book, A Million Dollar Leads, a hundred million dollar leads, I think. Sorry, Alex, I, I haven't gotten into reading your book yet, but I know it's probably very good. But what Alex said is that he spent countless hours doing this presentation over and over and over again. So he would do it once, recording it every morning. He would record it once, and then he would watch the recording and see everything that he could have done better kind of taking notes and then he would repeat it in his head so he did it i think three times a day for 100 days so it was 300 times don't get the math like main picture guys big picture here so he did it hundreds of times so by the day that the presentation was due the day that he had this big event with a huge venue full of people he knew it by heart. He could improvise. If the PowerPoint didn't work, he knew everything that was in there. So that's the thing. When you have something that's very important to you, you will need to prepare countless times. And to be honest, I, I thought I could just speak off the cuff with that presentation. And clearly I couldn't, not on my first time, of course, on the next time I'll do better. Like right now I'm kind of hungry. I 
didn't really practice. It's two o'clock, two, 2 p.m. on a Saturday, and I'm here at the studio recording for you guys. So really, I, I have everything stacked against me. Kind of like the opposite of what I tell you guys to do to stack things in your favor. But I just wanted to be very honest with you guys about yeah, failure in general. Like, because we oftentimes, especially if you have a bit of an obsessive personality like I do, you just want to get things right the first time and you want to go, go, go and do so much in so little time. But sometimes it's not possible. Sometimes you won't get it right the first time or the second time or the third time or the 20th time. And at the end of the day, it's not really a problem. You just try again and try again and try again. It's like Rocky said, it's not about how hard you can hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and get up back. So they may drop you 100 times to the ground and you'll get back 101. And that's the thing. So if you're failing at something, rest assured, you can try again and again and again. You're only a loser when you decide you're a loser. If you're still getting up and trying again, that's the winner's mindset. And that's why I love you guys. And that's why I love that you're here. Because this is the rock star vibe that we want. This is the rock star mentality. This is the Mamba mentality, the rock star mentality. This is why you're here. Because by the end of the year, mark my words, today is April 27th, 2024. I have about 300, 3,500, a little less according to the official statistics on YouTube right now, 3.5K, and we are going to the moon. And we are going to the freaking moon. I did it because of Diogo. I had to change the actual word because great things are coming, okay? And by the end of this year, mark my words, we will hit 1.2 million subscribers. And you guys are going to help me and we are going to spread this message because I can fail once in talking about the bandwagon effect or the underdogs. I can fail twice. I can fail 10 times, but I will try over and over and over again to deliver to you guys the best. I hate the word content, but the best message possible. And I hope that you guys can spread the message like wildfire to your friends, to your families, because we want to unleash the inner rock star inside each and every one of you. So thank you so much for listening, for watching, and let's go, go, go.